Okay, this is the flower tower relay controller setup that drives these actuator valves to set the fire effects off on the flower tower. Um, they're all controlled by these uh, USB relays by SaneSmart using a Raspberry Pi um, controller to do a web interface and control them. Here's the web interface that uh, these are hooked up here. You'll see the 48 relays are displayed in the grid here. And you can actually uh, click on one of these here. You can see the relay gets fired over here. Um, this grid is really meant mostly for a status display. And uh, you, can do, you can operate these relays in two modes. One is you can you know, operate them singly you can do two random, th three random, or all random um, devices. Uh, but typically, we we assume that uh, that we'll you'll run these RIF files that will have sequences, pre-programmed sequences, and you you click these over here. It goes over onto the playlist, whatever you want to play, and then um, you push play. And then those RIF files will play out onto the 48 channels. Um, the RIF files are just a simple text file with one line saying which bit, which bit mass to play and how much of a delay to keep the, the hold time to keep the relays open. And you'll see that the interface here when you're playing these uh, files has a real-time display of what's actually being played here on the grid. Uh, this web interface is uh, basically JavaScript talking to the Raspberry Pi over a WebSocket. There's a there's a web server and a WebSocket server on the relay, um, and the the relays are all hooked up by a um, program that uh, enumerates up to four of these uh, 32. Uh, bank relays and um, you can you can play those on a 64-bit machine you can do eight without uh, without any problems but anyway that's pretty much it um, all the all the code for the web interface and the Raspberry Pi uh, um, drivers for the relays are all on github so check that out